We're here at DSEI 2019 and behind me is the Warrior Capability Sustainment Programme Technology Demonstrator Vehicle. The Warrior Capability Sustainment Programme, or WCSP as it's known, is a key capability for the British Army. It will provide mechanised forces with a modern and capable vehicle with improved fightability over the legacy platform. To my right is Peter Somerville, Business Development Manager for Lockheed Martin. In the middle is John from the British Army, the only soldier qualified to fire the vehicle. And finally is Mark Critchley, who has been involved in the engineering and design of the platform from the start. Peter, can you tell us a little bit about what's coming up for the Warrior in terms of its reliability and growth trials? Yes, yeah, certainly. So, I think it's well publicised. We've now achieved our first 20 battlefield missions on the programme. Um, we've started then this week the next stage of those uh, reliability growth trials, which is a further 20 battlefield missions, which we'll achieve by Christmas. Uh, and that's continuing the same set of battlefield missions, the same format, firing trials, cross-country trials, concurrent with qualification and verification trials, which is just in just developing and confirming to the MOD that certain systems work the way they are. But to date, you, you'll hear later that we're hitting as we expected it in terms of reliability, in terms of performance, and we expect that to continue now for the next three months leading into the Christmas period. Excellent. And, and are you able to say a little bit about when the trials are expected to be completed? Yes, again, our schedule looks at a a forecast completion in about 18 months from now, that's all the reliability ghost trials complete and we will have achieved the required standard of reliability for the platform. So it's not about ticking off a set number of reliability growth trials or battlefield missions, it's about achieving a standard of reliability and we're predicting we'll have achieved that in maximum 18 months from now. Excellent, I look forward to that. And John, you're the only British Army soldier qualified to fire the main armament on this vehicle and I understand you're also an operator of the Legacy Warrior. Can you tell us a little bit about the differences, what you've experienced and, and your thoughts on the vehicle in general? Yeah, absolutely. So the Legacy vehicle, there was a lot more involved sort of, we call it steam run gunnery because it, you're, you're using the hand controls and you're putting ammunition into the weapon system which is quite old fashioned. This is a new technology, a new turret, the system and the way gunnery or armoured infantry gunnery is done has, has completely changed. The system um, is a lot easier in my opinion uh, to use than legacy and with the uh, ability of a stabilised turret and platform you can fire the main armament on the move which is um, a massive advantage as well. Excellent. Thanks so much, John. And finally, Mark, I understand you were involved in the engineering phase of the platform right at the beginning. Can you tell us a little bit about how it's performing according to what you forecast? Sure. So we spent a long time developing this platform with ATDU, with DNS, to be a safe and reliable and high-performing asset to the British Army. I'm really delighted now to be trialling this platform. It's satisfying all our expectations and perhaps what's most rewarding is seeing the British Army using it and using it and operating it safely in a trials environment. Excellent. Thank you so much, Mark. So there you have it. A quick update on the Warrior program from three gentlemen who would know the most about it. We look forward to seeing it at the next DSEI in 2021.